Hello guys, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we had to experience absolute agony because we had to talk to this guy over here. Ugh. Anyways, in this episode, we're finally done with that section of the game, so we're just gonna head back to Kurine. Hey, so how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Yeah, I found a few things. I guess. What's the matter? You ain't looking so well. Ah, yeah, so earlier that old granny called the cops. Huh? The cops? Why would Morgan call the police? She said she had something to tell him. Things are sure getting interesting. Ugh. You're the worst, Lotta. You testify against my friends give me barely any information, and you've also introduced Dr. Hottie to the series. Ah, but honestly, I tell you, that granny sure got her bloomers in a knot. Well, I guess you could put it that way. It always starts out small, you know. Stealing the master's seat and controlling the village folk. And now you see where it's turned into? A murder, that's what. Yeah, what a mess. Hey, hold on. What? That stuff you were just talking about. That's the first I've heard of it. Huh? Really? Well, it's old news to everyone else in the world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with the gossip while I'm busy saving people. You said something about stealing the master seat. Yep. Right now, the master is this medium named Mr. Fay, but... The one that was really supposed to be the master was the old granny. Morgan was supposed to become... the master? So I hear the master has always been the oldest daughter. The oldest daughter. Turns out that old bat is Mrs. Faye's older sister. Oh. They say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take May's powers lightly. Well, anyway. Somehow Granny there lost to her younger sister, Misty. I see. This made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Did all sorts of things too, like Shay's the oldest and yet she doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful. Wow, I had no idea. So what would have happened if Morgan been stronger? Maya's family would have been a branch family, I reckon. Do you know where Eni is, Lotta? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around the garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. I think we can actually go ahead and break her psyche locks now, so yeah, we're getting close to the end of this investigation. Hey, like, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I think I have enough to finally unlock her secret. Like, what's with that scary look on your face? Traffic accident. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh, um, oh yeah. So, like, that Dr. Grey guy made my sister fall asleep, and, like, that's all I have to say about that. Hmm. Interesting. He needs just asked whose accident, which means she must know something about another person's accident. Alright, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone in mind? I want to ask you about your own car accident. M me Yes. So, wow, like, how strange. I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove I was in, like, an accident? Oh, yes, we can. If we look over at... If we check newspaper clipping, too... Uh, it's second page. Miss Eeny Miney holds interview about crash. I was, like, really tired, and I dropped off to sleep, then there was this crash, and I, like, I woke up in, like, a huge sea of flames. I was, like, still half asleep, but I opened the right door and, like, got out. I don't, like, remember anything else. 
Would you take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says, Miss Eeny Miney holds interview about crash. Ah! You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? Like, wait. What well, now? Th that's not me. Huh? I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name, but she's totally not me. My name, Eeny Miney, is, like, pretty common. What in the world are you babbling about? Your sister's name, Mimi Miney, is in here too. Like, totally. Wow, what a scary coincidence. I'm totally, like, getting goosebumps. Y you think I'm going to let you get away with that? So, like, now what? Like, do you have something that totally says I was hospitalized? You have the picture we got from the hospital. This is your proof. Like, what's that picture supposed to mean? I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at. Huh? So, there's a certain patient there. He's quite a fan. As a memento of your stay, he stole this. I have to say, this photo looks like you. That creepy fake director! Now are you ready to tell me about the accident? Like, wait a second. Okay, so, like, I was in an accident, sure. But that's, like, totally not related to the murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? A and That woman who died. Who do you suppose they mean? Do you suppose the woman who died in that accident could be? Of course, the only other one that was there. I believe it was your sister, Mimi Mighty. Mimi. You were riding in your sister's call car while she drove. The two of you were together when your accident occurred, making it one and the same. Yeah, I was... riding. Riding in that car, with my sister. We were, like, on our way home. I was riding in the passenger seat when I fell asleep. And then it happened. At the time, I grabbed from my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I, like, couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke. I couldn't see anything. Oh. I'm sorry. Did Dr. Gray really cause the accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, to like, pay my sister back. Hmm. I wonder. This does give Eni a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. <laughs> it seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But it would be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. What? I think you'll get the picture. I'm gonna serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> well, she just turned evil all of a sudden. Uh, let's get away from her for now. Looks like something's up. S stop! Stop! Leave my mother alone! Uh, ow! Hey, hold on, okay, pal? It's not- I'm not gonna hurt you. Pearl, dear. It is perfectly alright. I will be out for a short while while this young- with this young man. Mother, please let me go too! No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But- Oh, don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look. It's a real pistol. Detective, do not upset me further. Oh, sorry. 
Poor Gumshoe. Being dragged off by the ear like that by Morgan. Ow. Mother! Mother! This has never happened before! Pearls. Mr. Nick! I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think something really bad is going to happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something right. Anything. Ugh, I'm terrible at this. Mr. Nick, what about... What about Mystic Maya? She'll be alright. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, she must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all alone either. I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side. Her stare is really piercing. Ugh. You kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia! So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now. I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy weight to bear. Hmm. If memory serves, Mia had a few psyche locks of her own. Mia, I'm going to get the last piece of information I need. Sure, I welcome you to try. I think this is like one of the only instances, instances in the series of there being a psyche lock that you have to wait until a later investigation to do. Usually it's always in the same investigation. I might be wrong about that though, so correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Mia. Yes? Mia. You know something, don't you? About the real murderer, I mean. Why do you think so? It's really trying at times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. Yeah. The Battle of Winst Wits Against Mia. There's still a whole slew of questions for you to answer before the trial tomorrow. You mean like, how did the real murderer get into the room and kill Dr. Gray? Yes. Also, when did the murderer enter the channeling chamber? You guys were all standing around in front of the room after the channeling started. Which means that the murderer must have gone into that room before the channeling. That's what I think in any case. But Maya's already said that there wasn't anyone else in there. That's true. But if we can't figure out the murderer's mo movements, we're stuck like a beached whale. Hmm. I thought I'd never see this day. Are you actually asking me about spirit channeling? This case is all about spirit channeling. And I feel like I don't understand a thing about it. Well, that's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. The power to change your physical appearance into a person you're calling. It was something our ancestor Mystic Ami Fey acquired. I've heard that name before. The Fey family was originally a family known for its service to the gods. When Mystic Ami was born, she was given a certain fate through her name. Because, you see, she was named after one of the Buddhas of Buddhism, Amitabha. To this day, her soul is still sealed in the Kurine Sacred Urn. It usually sits in the winding way, and has her name written on it. Um... Yeah. Aw, oh, come on, Phoenix. It's just a fairy tale. You saying that me being able to see you is just a fairy tale, too? There's nothing left to do but to try to break all of Mia's psyche locks. Phoenix, you think I'm hiding information about someone from you? Isn't that right? 
Yes. Alright then, tell me who you think I'm protecting. Well, there's no one else for her to protect other than... Morgan Fay, of course. There's no one else you would protect like this, Mia. Well done, but... While the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. Which means she already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion onto my aunt. The proof is this piece of cloth. I found it in the incinerator near the winding way. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. You mean, it's from Maya's costume that she was wearing at the time of the murder? Yes. But when Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. That just means that someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes? But why? I don't know why. But there was only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya. My aunt. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? You have no proof that this piece of cloth is actually from Maya's costume. But this blood! And do you know whose blood that is at this point in time? You don't, do you? Do you have any proof that the piece of cloth is from Maya's costume? I think this is the proof you're looking for. The key to the channeling chamber, huh? At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key. And yet somehow, it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. You're right. And this is what Maya told me. While I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. And both this key and the piece of cloth were found inside the incinerator. Which means that this piece of cloth was a part of Maya's costume. It certainly seemed that way. Someone changed her into a different set of clothes, and then burned the costume that she was wearing in the incinerator. There's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya. My aunt. Exactly! You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However, however, like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me. But I want to know, if my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? Eeny miny. She's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and Eeny miny were in cahoots! Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. The person would have to know a lot about Fay Manor and the village itself to do this. But Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that Teeny Miney is involved somehow. But we have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why would she have to? Also, we don't really know for sure that she was cooperating with Eeny. Mia doesn't have a clue either, huh? Hmm. Then, there's only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Um... Because? Mother. She's the key one who holds the key to this. Mother? Whose? Mine? <laughs> Don't be silly. Mine, of course. Misty Fay, Mia and Maya's mother. Why don't you bring her up now? Now then, looks like we've gathered everything we could. 
All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. R right, Chief. We won't lose. 